Hello everyone, this is John here from ContraBIM and Happy New Year's to you. I hope your year is off to a great start. I wanted to start this year by actually giving away a free little gift. Um, now it's something that I've put several hours of work into and that is the user interface of Archicad, otherwise known as the work environment. So this year I spent a lot of time creating two customized profiles. One I'm calling a presentation profile and the other is a productivity profile. And we can see here that we have a few other profiles. These are the default Graphisoft ones, including the MEP profile, which you get when you install the MEP modeler. But the main ones I'm working with are the presentation or the typical productivity profile. So right now we are in the presentation mode. And obviously the intention of this is to maximize the 3D window or the 2D window as well. So um, the whole goal here is to really just have as much screen space as possible with access to some of the most commonly used uh, functions while doing a presentation. Um, we can quickly turn on our toolbox, our info box, which is actually an abbreviated one. I've turned off a lot of the different settings here and I've just kind of shrunk this down so that we have just the main ones that I like working with, which is obviously the dialogue, the, uh, the layers, and then the IDs and properties. So these are kind of the main ones that I'm always working in. And so that's uh, part of this profile is an abbreviated info box. There's, of course, the navigator, which will be pulled up here in the top right corner. Again, that's another kind of abbreviated version of this. We'll see as it pops up here. So, um, so at any point, we can switch through to different views. We have down here at the bottom different views that we can toggle right here as well, which makes it really nice to get some different type of perspectives on the project in this presentation mode. And so I'm really liking this layout for the presentations. Um, the other things that I have here are trace and reference because I'm using that a lot, especially in obviously the 2D view, and then quick layers if you need to toggle and hide or show all, or sometimes it's really nice to have those turned on. But most of the time, I'll just have all these turned off and that way it's just maximizing the view. And then the only other things I'll have are my attributes and then kind of a customized version of the 3D visualization where we can toggle back and forth between AXO um, to get different perspectives here as needed. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the presentation mode. So let's switch over now to the productivity mode because this um, really has all my favorite toolbars turned on as well as my favorite palettes. We'll let this load here. It's going to take just a second to go through and uh, pull up all these settings. One thing you'll notice is the commonly used palettes being turned on right away. So I like having these built into the profile where they will populate as soon as you activate the profile. But most of the time, I'll just go through and close these out. Like most of the time, I'm not working in favorites. MEP routing, I'll only work with if I'm doing MEPs. And then the change manager and markup tools are also something that I like having pulled up just because it reminds us that those tools are there, but most of the time I'll just close them down very quickly. Um, okay, so a quick intro into the productivity uh, view of this profile. Um, up at the top left here, we can see that we have the same toolbar instead of at the bottom, which is where it was at in the presentation. We've now moved it to the top. Um, we also have our different functions turned on here as well as our accessories. And then I also like having the on-screen view options turned on here as well. The next row are quick layers, MEP modelers, and then our standard toolbar, which has really a lot of very useful and commonly used functions. Um, so I like having that standard one because it's a pretty good one in my opinion. Over here on the left, obviously the, tool the toolbox. Um, the info box, I definitely prefer having this in a vertical format here. I'm actually going to turn off my trace and reference so you can see that we can quickly just adjust that and either undock or, sorry, turn on or turn off that uh, trace reference. I like having it in this docked mode right here because it just 
is easy to access. And then I like having the renovation tab down here at the bottom. So um, I like having all these so that I can scroll up and down as well as having access at the top of the list in the info box. I like having quick access to the IDs and properties because those are super important to pay attention to. And that's where one of the most commonly things the most common things I'll do is highlight an element and then want to immediately go in and see what the properties are in that element. So that provides quick access there. Um, okay, down at the bottom, I have my coordinates turned on. Definitely like having the coordinates pulled up. Again, with my attribute manager and then the 3D visualization toolbar, which has just a few customized things. I've taken off some of the, the defaults in that tool such as going to the 3D window or um, like the orbit. I never use those because I like using a 3D mouse, which to me is the best way of navigating through ARCHICAD. And if I'm going to jump to from 2D to 3D, I'll just use my function keys instead or click on the tab up here at the top. Um, the other thing I've added down here is the, uh, the set origin set direction and reset of textures. So that goes hand in hand with the 3D visualization. So I've added it to this toolbar. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Obviously on the right, I have my organizer turned on, um, but those are really the two profiles that I will be working with this year. Um, the presentation, which really maximizes the 3D window and the productivity, which is intended to really just set up the uh, views for having all the tools available at any point in time. Um, I've also added down here just a quick um, access to the work environment. Um, here, obviously this is on custom because I've closed out those other ones, so that's, that's okay. Um, but Anytime you want to make a change to these, you just select this and then redefine, and that will override it. I'm not going to do that in this case because I like getting those uh, toolbars and palettes to pop up from the beginning. Um, but up at the top here, you can see these two different profiles, and really the main differences are within the tool schemes and the workspace schemes for those. Everything else is the same. So, okay, well, I hope that... Um, you enjoyed this video. If you want to download these two profiles and test this out uh, on your own, then feel free. You can get that on from my blog. Uh, just click the link in the description here, or if you're watching this on my blog, then you can see where you can uh, just enter your email and get an emailed uh, zip file that has both of these here. And um, yeah, hope you enjoy playing around with those. All you need to do to load these in is just extract the zip folder onto your desktop and then go to import and then you can just load in all these different profiles into your own. If you have any suggestions for improvements or something that you feel like I'm missing from these profiles, I'd love to hear about it so I can uh, make the revision and update this in the future. I'm always trying to maximize how to set up ARCHICAD for optimized visualization as well as optimized uh, productivity. So definitely open to your suggestions and please let me know what you think and uh, hope you have a great 2020. I will catch you soon on another video.